At a glance the New York Giants' three-game winning streak ended with a 24-6 road loss to the New Orleans Saints in a pivotal game in the NFC standings. The Giants, who entered Sunday one spot back of a playoff spot, dropped to 5-9 on the season, while the Saints improved to 7-7. Up NEXT the Giants will bus down to Philadelphia, where they have not won since 2013, for a 4.30 p.m. kickoff on Christmas Day, Monday. The Eagles, 10-3, who have lost consecutive outings for the first time this season, will have one fewer day after flying back from Monday night's game in Seattle against the Seahawks, 6-7. What we learned about the offense tight end Darren Waller, who had not played since Week 8 because of a hamstring injury, made his return after being activated from injured reserve. He caught two passes for 30 yards, 29 of which came on a catch and run to convert a third and long in the second quarter. Right tackle Evan Neal, ankle, missed his fifth consecutive game. He returned to practice this week on a limited basis but was listed as doubtful on the final injury report. Left guard Justin Pugh, calf, was added to the injury report on Friday. He was listed as questionable but suited up on Sunday for an offensive line that has now started the same five players, Andrew Thomas, Justin Pugh, John Michael Schmitz Jr., Ben Bredesen, Tyre Phillips, for five consecutive games. Quarterback Tommy DeVito, the reigning NFC Offensive Player of the Week, started the fifth consecutive game for the Giants. He left momentarily with 52 seconds in the first half, when his head hit the turf after a hit by Isaac Yeadam. Tyrod Taylor entered the game, and the Giants finished off the drive with a 40-yard field goal by punter Jamie Gillen. More on that later. To cut the deficit to 7-6 heading into the locker room. DeVito, however, returned to start the second half. A week after allowing no sacks and just two quarterback hits, DeVito was taken down four times in the first half alone by the Saints, seven total. DeVito, who was the first Giants quarterback with three consecutive games with 20-plus attempts and 100-plus passer rating since Eli Manning in 2014. First Giants rookie to do it. Completed 20 of 34 passes for 177 yards and a 72.8 passer rating. Entering Week 15, the Saints had allowed the lowest opponent passer rating in the NFL this season, 74.7. The Giants had 46 rushing yards in the first half, but 30 came from DeVito on four runs. Saquon Barkley was held to 8 yards on 6 carries heading into the locker room and 14 yards on 9 carries for the game. The Giants completed just one of 9 third downs in the first half, 2 of 15 overall.